Let's get cracking. So every poop has a story behind it. And every poop follows a journey. It's a journey from food to poop. So how I decided to do this is I'm gonna follow the journey of food through our bodies, eventually turning it into poop and trying to mimic everything that happens inside of our digestive system. Trying to be as accurate as possible. So, this bowl is gonna be my mouth, right? I'm having dinner. It's like 5.45. It's a good dinner time. It's been a long day. I'm kind of exhausted. So I'm gonna have some SpaghettiOs. Ah, you know what would go great with SpaghettiOs? Ah, oh, nice crispy salad. But what would cap this meal off in a spectacular way? A nice fibrous protein bar, you know? Really capping off the day here. So this is all of our dinner inside of our mouths. Inside of our mouths, a certain level of digestion happens. There's mechanical digestion, which happens when our teeth chop up our foods and help break them down. And there's also chemical digestion that happens when our saliva mixes with our food and chemically starts breaking it down. So I'm gonna do two things to copy that process inside our mouths. The first thing I'm gonna do is add saliva. I'm gonna take a little dish soap to give it that like sticky quality, add in some nice saliva in there, and a little bit of water too, just like a few drops of water. That's the chemical breakdown. Now it's time for the physical breakdown. For that, you take your mashing devices and just kind of jam it up all together. Yeah, look at this. So there we go, we got our food that's breaking down chemically and mechanically inside of our mouths. The next step in digestion is swallowing it goes down our esophagus and into our stomachs. So for us, the blender is gonna be our stomachs. So we're gonna take our food, swallow it down. Swallow, swallow, swallow. Now our food is in our stomach and it's being digested. So what happens in our stomach is certain uh, very acidic juices are added to the food, which helps it break down even more. So to be in place of our gastric acidic juices in our stomachs, we're gonna use vinegar. The vinegar takes the place of the gastric juices inside our stomach. It's super acidic and it's gonna help break down our food just a little more. So sprinkle just a little. Mmm, nice. Now we blend. That seems pretty good to me. So at this point, the food has traveled into our mouths, down our esophagus. It's in our stomach. The gastric juices have been added, and it's ready to go into the small intestine. But one important thing is added before it goes into the small intestine, and that's bile. So bile is something that's created in the liver, and stored in the gallbladder, and it just helps kind of aid in digestion, and it's green. So that's where we're gonna add a little bit of green food coloring to be our addition of bile. Excellent. We're gonna take some sort of mashing device or something like that, stir it up a little. Ooh. Mm. Let's get, let's, let's look at that, huh? Let's get in there. Look at this. This is gonna be a nice poop. Next step, we're gonna make our way from the stomach to the small intestine. So this is where you bring out your stock. To be in place of our small intestine, we're gonna use our tights. So here's what you should do. Ah, uh, wonderful. Look at these. We only need half of these. So take a pair of scissors and cut them like right up the middle so we just have one leg. Let's do this. This, this is what we're looking for here. You have one leg of the tights and there's just like a nice opening right there. And 
then it's almost like you cut like a small hole at the foot on the bottom. And this is going to be um, the hole in your butt where the poop comes out of. So that's what you cut right there. So we're ready to go with this one. I'm going to take one of my mixing bowls and kind of like, let's see if I can like, ooh, yeah, see, look at this. It's pretty nice, right? This step is going to get super, super messy. So I'm going to lay down my plate and a lot of paper towels. This is one of the messier projects we're going to do. So it's important to kind of prepare your space and make sure that things aren't going to get too messy. Lay down some paper towels or newspapers, put plates under to kind of catch it because uh, this is like the really gross part where things are going to get really disgusting. Which means it's the best part, but you got to get ready for it. Okay, so now we're going to take our food from our stomach and have it enter into our small intestine. You just kind of pour it in. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yum. Look at that. Look at it go. So as the poop moves through our small intestine, um, our bodies are soaking up liquid and soaking up moisture, making it drier and drier. And some of the small pieces and small bits are also absorbed to kind of fuel us throughout our day. And that's the great thing about using tights in this, because as we move it down and move it through the small intestine, water is going to be leaking out of our guacamole looking poop. And that'll kind of simulate what's happening inside of our bodies. Another thing that happens as food moves through our bodies is our intestines kind of move in this kind of like undulating way that's called like peristalsis and it helps pack the food together even more and also kind of uh, break it down. So it helps, it helps digestion along. So as you move it through the tights, go in like kind of like a, I don't even know, like you're, like you're really squeezing it through. Like if you had to squeeze out the last bit of toothpaste or something like that. That's kind of like the peristalsis motion. So let's get going. Squeezing it through. Mmm. 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 Woo! Really stringing it out. Really drying it out. Like our intestines do. Squeezing. Squeezing. Squishing. Squeeze and squish. Squish and squeeze. Mm. So we're almost ready to exit. But I'm gonna do one kind of one more step. Alright, you guys see that? We're right towards the end here. And this is where I'm gonna bring in our hair dryer. We're gonna keep it in for just a little bit longer. Do one big squeeze. Try to get all the liquid off if possible. All the liquid off. So this is like the last little bit of our stomachs just really kind of uh, soaking up the moisture in that poop and really packing it down. Oh! Mm. Let's go. Let's hair dry a poop. All right. The time has finally come. We have chewed the food. It's traveled through our esophagus, into our stomachs, through our small intestine, through our big intestine, and now, all of a sudden, we're like sitting down at our computer, and then you get that familiar feeling when you're like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. So now it's time. So what you gotta do is you just gotta squeeze it out that hole that you had at the end there. Oh, man, I hope this is good. I hope it comes out good. Woo! Oh, no! Oh! Mmm. 
There's one. But oh no, I think we got a little left. We got enough for another. Come on, come on. I believe, I believe. Mm. There we go. Awesome. There you have it folks. Two beautifully crafted, wonderfully made fake poops.